hello everyone in today video we are going to configure intra vlan configurations on palo alto firewall so this is my network diagram and i have connected two pc pc1 and pc2 one is on ethernet 1 slash 1 and pc2 is on ethernet 1 slash 2 and this is my palo alto firewall so in this configuration we are going to follow these steps so first we will do layer 2 and layer 3 zone configuration and then next we will do uh, we will configure uh, both ethernet 1 slash 1 and 1 slash 2 as a layer 2 interface then we will do the vlan configuration and we'll add these two interface to to that vlan configuration after that we will do the dscp configuration so these two pc will get ip address from this uh, dscp server and next we will verify the ip addresses and we will try to ping from pc1 to pc2 so uh, the both interface uh, both interfaces will be in the same vlan so that's why we will we are going to do intra vlan configuration so first uh, in first step we will do layer 2 and layer 3 zone configuration on this palo alto firewall so we need to go under network zones click on add and first we'll do for layer 2 layer 2 zone this is for layer 2 interfaces and next we'll configure it for the layer 3 layer 3 zone and this is for layer 3 interfaces and next we are going to make interfaces as a layer 2 so both interface ethernet 1 slash 1 and 1 slash 2 we are going to make it as a layer 2 first one ethernet 1 slash 1 and we'll configure as a layer 2 and the security zone will be also layer 2 zone and next ethernet 1 slash 2 this one will be also layer 2 and the security zone will be layer 2 zone and in next we we are going to do the vlan configuration on this Palo Alto Firewall so go under VLAN click on add so we are going to add this VLAN 10 here okay and we haven't configured any VLAN so we can give VLAN 10 okay and we can add both interfaces ethernet 1 slash 1 and 1 slash 2 and virtual router we can add new year and security zone will be layer 3 zone and we we are going to configure a default ip address for this vlan 10 interface so we can configure 192.168.10.1 slash 24 so to allow the ping we we are also going to add some management profile interfaces so we can add ip pc ping interface then click on ok yes we'll commit now commit is successful so again we will click on this and we'll verify we can see vlan 10 new vr layer 3 okay next we can go under vlan here we have vlan 10 and we we can see we already added vlan 10 here okay everything looks okay 
so after after vlan configuration we we will do the dhcp con configuration so pc1 and pc2 both will get ip addresses from this server so next we are going to do dhcp configuration click on add and interface vlan 10 so we are going to use this vlan 10 as a interface and then we'll add the pool here 192 168 10.22 192.168 10.5 under option gateway will be 192.168.10.1 and subnet mask will be slash 24 so 255.255.255.0 click on ok now it's done so again we'll do the commit Now commit is successful, so we'll go on both PC. Try to take the console of PC one. Show IP first. We'll verify whether we have any IP. We don't have any IP on this PC, so we'll do DSCP. We'll wait. So this PC one got an IP address from the server, so it is. 192.168.10.2 and gateway is 10.1 and same we will do on PC2 take the console and IP first we will verify the IP show IP so there is no IP then IP DSCP So this PC2 also got an IP address from this server. First we'll try to ping the DSCP server. That is 192.168.10.1. So ping is successful. Now we'll try to ping PC PC1 from PC2. So PC1 IP address is 192.168.10.2. We'll ping this IP address from PC2 ping paste the IP address so ping is successful we are able to ping from PC1 to PC2 and same if you want we can verify from PC1 to PC2 so ping 192.168.10.3 ping is successful so our intra VLAN configuration is working fine so that's all for this video. In next video, we are going to do inter VLAN configuration. We'll configure two different VLAN and we'll try to ping from PC1 to PC2. That's all for this video. Thank you so much for watching.